it was very interesting. She gave me this very, very cool analogy here. Yeah. Greetings, beloveds. We bring you our love and we bring you our blessing. This miracle principle refers to the shift in the transition from a realm of consciousness that believes in separation, that believes that one is not related to or connected to another, not through a bloodline, through a soul connection that weaves all beings together. Not being aware of the principles that are occurring is much like having a river where water runs and it has frozen over. And it appears to be frozen all the way through, but yet the water continues to run. Miracles always occur. To perceive them, there must be a shift from the frozen ice to the stream that runs below, becoming one in the mind of God allows you to have the perception of that which is occurring always. It requires each being, each aspect of soul to choose to align through the right use of will with the aspect of mind that allows one to see the miracles as they are in process. This alignment, this letting go of the egoic structure that looks for fault, that looks for pain, that looks for anguish to justify the sense of separation, that looks for reasons to be separate from. All of this must be relinquished. All of this must be surrendered to the will of God. And in these moments, there is a sense of alignment that occurs that allows one to remember, that allows one to feel the love and the presence of the miracles, the miracles of being connected to the light, of knowing that you are light. For in the moments in which you have forgotten, you are always being beckoned home. You are always being called forth to come back into unison with the truth of you. And the truth of you is the love that we have for each other, the love that we have for God, the love that we have for all that is. For all that is, is love and all that is truly is light. When you are able to perceive miracles, when you are able to see the truth and remember your true souls, your true selves, it is at these moments that you are home. And the more frequently that you remember, they begin to weave a tapestry where all that surrounds you are miracles. And you know that each illusory aspect of another is truly you and your home. We whisper to you, we call to you, we beckon you. And we know when you hear us, for you will turn 
and listen within to our voice. Come and join with us, beloved. In the body of the Christed mind, there is a seat for you, a chair that comes and welcomes you to have a seat, be with us. It begins to thaw the ice, and then you remember the flow of the river of love. Our blessings are upon you always, beloveds. Greetings and blessings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. I am so fucked up and congested. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah. Mm. I can hardly breathe. Oh. oh yeah, I'm lactose intolerant and gluten intolerant, so yeah. <laughs> We got some forgiveness lessons going through. Our <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm coming over for celery juice, baby. Although you okay. got crop celery. Yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, God, I'm still recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>